Today is National Hot Dog Day, so of course we are celebrating the Chicago State's Authority, who has another reason here to celebrate. We have owner Rob Dukinek, du Dubnike, excuse Got me, it. joining us this morning. Hey, Rob, thanks for coming in and Good thanks morning. for bringing all these hot dogs. Thanks for having us. Appreciate it. And congratulations. Thank you. July is 30 years we've been in this business, wow. so it's, it's, it's a big is, milestone. Has it been in the same location the whole time? Yeah, so we purchased the location in 2004. Okay. It was a place before us for about nine years, and mm -hmm. we took it over and made it more Chicago and put our own name on it. Okay. Mm -hmm. And July, this month is our 30th anniversary. So I understand there is a contest coming up, the 11th contest, 11th annual contest. Tell us about this. It was yesterday. Yesterday. Yep. We normally have police and firemen. This we just had firemen. Okay. We had four Minneapolis firemen show up. Um, firefighter Dae Woo ate six dogs, fully loaded Chicago dogs in five minutes. Fully loaded? Fully loaded. That means pickle, mustard, onions, relish, tomatoes, sport peppers, just like the Chicago dog you see right here. Oh my gosh. We put a plate in front of them. They have to lick the plate up. They can't just knock it on the ground and forget about it. <laughs> And what we do is we give $250 to the winner, plus $25 for every dog that's eaten. So wow. today we're going to donate $675, and he chose coat for kids. That's wow. great. No, that's I awesome. was going to say it first. Uh, six dogs, that's no Joey Chestnut. <laughs> but it's but a then whole... Realize, like, yeah. <laughs> so the Chicago dog is something special. There's, I don't see any ketchup no. on this table. No. So Chicago dog is called the meal in a bun. It was invented in, at the World's Fair in the 1920s, mm -hmm. and it was sold for a nickel. And the reason they did it was it was a healthy way to get all you needed on a bun. You have vegetables, there's nothing bad on it. Ketchup we don't put on is against the law. It's actually a statute in Chicago that you cannot put ketchup on a hot dog. That's it a is, law! It is actually a statute in Chicago. Wow, okay. Do you have ketchup in the restaurant, though? Just... For french fries. Oh. <laughs> My guy, my guy. <laughs> okay, uh, tell us about some of the other dogs you got okay, here. So what we've got is we've got the highlight. So Chicago is about 20% of the sales. Mm -hmm. The number one is actually the New York dog, which is a, which usually is steamed onions mm -hmm. um, and a light mustard. Okay. This is the Seattle, the Michigan mm -hmm. uh, uh, chili Michigan dog. Coney, okay. Coney, yep. So it's a meat sauce, kind of like a chili we would have here. Mm -hmm. Not okay. chili, kind of like a, um, a sloppy joe we'd have here. Okay. 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 That's a chili dog. And then we have what's called the Sonora dog, which has jalapenos, sauteed <laughs> onions, cream cheese, and sriracha. Ooh, okay. This yeah. is this is twenty eight percent of all dog sales in the US. Yeah. We're twenty. This is eight. So it's a pretty good thing. It's a That's lot of stuff. Good thing, yeah. The fun part though is that mm -hmm. between Memorial Day and Labor Day, we sell eight million hot dogs. Eight million dollars of hot dogs. Sorry, eight billion dollars of hot dogs. I screwed that up big time. Eight billion dollars of hot dogs. Wow. Seriously? It's a lot of hot dogs between the summer dogs. times. Yeah, if, you had a, if you had a choice, which one would you go with? Oh, golly, this this one looks really good. Sonora? The yeah, Sonora dog? the cream cheese and the grilled onions. Okay. Yeah, it's a lot yeah. of fun. You know, the, the funny of the hot dogs is it's, it's got some history to it. It was one of the first foods ever eaten on the moon. Uh, oh. What? what? It's one of first foods. Well, that's, this, is, uh, this is one of the other misconceptions. There's this, I can have raw hot dogs, I can't have raw hot dogs. Mm -hmm. There is no such thing as a raw hot dog. I was going to say, it's only cooked. All it's hot dogs cooked. are yeah. fully cooked. Yeah. Even if they're cold, you can open the package and it's, eat it. Yeah, it's cooked. It's the difference between a sausage and a hot dog. Sausages are not cooked. Mm -hmm. Hot dogs always are. Uh, Wait, what, can we, what, why yeah, why make, make a Chicago dog for us? Yeah, sure. Okay. So, while you're making a dog, do you have a special that's going on today, too? We do. So for National Hot Dog Day, we're doing Chicago dogs for five cents. The same price they were at the World's wow. Fair in the 1920s. There's a catch. You have to buy a large drink and a large fry. Okay. Well, but I suppose if you're going to twist our arm, I guess we'll <laughs> do that. So Chicago Dog, we've got a poppy seed bun, a 100% beef hot dog. We actually make our own dogs ourselves. Okay. Okay. We've got mustard. We're going to put on the bright neon green Chicago-style relish that everybody loves that's so much. Good, that's the good relish, it's too. It's nice, sweet. Yeah. It's one of my favorites. A little bit of chopped onion goes on top of here. Two tomato slices. Mm -hmm. Got to have that. That's your ketchup. That's your ketchup. Mm -hmm. Nice, and the big spear. dill pickle spear. Put a little kick in there. We're going to put two uh, sport peppers. If, uh, these are like, like a baby jalapeno as yeah. far as flavor. Okay. And then top it off, we just do a little bit of celery salt right down the top to give the flavor. It's the there sprinkle. This All is right. magic secret well, magic. As yeah. always, thank, thank you. you so much. Happy we National Hot Dog Day. <laughs> Five cents. Get them today. Yeah, there you what, go. If you get a drink and fries. Get a drink and fries. We have mm -hmm. one big announcement, though. If you don't mind, we make it really fast. Hurry, hurry, hurry. After 30 years in business, we have a new chapter. We're closing our Minneapolis location because oh, we gosh. lost our lease. But we're looking for a new place to go. So we'll have some announcements in September. If anybody out there's got a spot, reach out to me. I've heard oh. some people already. So wow. okay. we're going okay. to go somewhere else. Big right. announcement there. Thanks so much, you guys. Thank Thanks you. for having us.